Hello, everyone, and welcome to the program. I'm Sean Joaquin Baloye in Lagos. There is a political puzzle in Kaduna State. Who would solve it? Senators being at loggerheads with the governor of their state is not new in Nigerian politics these days, and the ruling APC is having a fair share of that kind of rivalry. The list is long, and I won't want to bore you with that now. But in Kaduna State, the political crisis is deepening. Just this past week, the governor, Nasiru Erufa, dragged the senator representing Kaduna Center, Shehu Stani, to court. He's suing him for defamation of character. The senator said he's ready to engage in that battle as well, that he would not be engaged by a lawsuit. But before the lawsuit, her building belonging to a rival faction of the APC led by Senator Unkui and where the controversial order suspending Erufai from the party was made came down. Well, not by itself. It was demolished for, I quote now, flagrant violations of land use, end of quote. Governor Erufai's political rivals and critics said the building was not obstructing anyone or anything but the governor's political career, hence his remover. There was an election of party executives and then we have a state executives in place before the 2015 election. The chairman of the party became the deputy governor of the state and by constitution of the party, he is out of the executive of the party. Who is the next person? The next person was Ella Diwada, who happens to be on our own side. But the governor rejected him and brought his own. What is happening in Kaduna is simply tyranny. We don't have a, an elected governor, we have a military administrator. One who thinks that everything should go his own way. And we are saying it very clear that he engineered the party to suspend us, to suspend me, that is about a year and a half ago, and they suspended Senator Hungui. So when his suspension came, he became very angry, moving about bulldozers to bring down buildings. Today, the APC National Working Committee delegation went to Cardinal State. The four-man committee set up by the National Working Committee of the All Progressives Congress to investigate the crisis rocking the Cardinal State chapter of the party has visited the state with an appeal to all parties in the disagreement to maintain utmost decorum and give opportunity for true reconciliation. The committee members, led by the APC Deputy National Chairman South and former Governor of Ikiti State, Shaguni visited the demolished secretariat of the Cardinal APC new faction, where they assured all the parties involved in the crisis of their commitment to do a thorough job. Now let's get into the, uh, to the conversation tonight. My guest tonight is a deputy governor of Cardinal State, Mr. Brunabaz Bala, well, popularly known as Bala Bantex. Uh, let me give you some kind of background. He was the chairman of the APC in Kaduna State. That was before he ran as the running mate with uh, the governor, uh, Malam Nasir Erufai. So when he became deputy governor, that position was open. So that is the beginning of the crisis in Kaduna APC. Let's get to the conversation now. Joining me on the program is the deputy governor of Kaduna State, Mr. Bala Bantex, thank you so much for your time on the program. Thank you, Shehu. We've engaged some other parties in this matter. Mm -hmm. For example, Senator Shehu Sani on these issues. Mm -hmm. And perhaps some of the kind of description to this crisis, um, it hurts the mind to know that this kind of situation is uh, happening, especially when you politicians will say it's a family affair. But this does not look like a family affair any longer. When you became the deputy governor, the vacuum was left. Naturally, who should fill that office? Well, <clears throat> first of all, thank you very much for, 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 uh, for inviting me. Um, in the first place, just before I say something concerning that, I just listened to a little bit of what Sheo Sani is saying. Uh, distinguished Senator Sheo Sani, he's talking about their own deputy chairman and the governor's own deputy chairman. I want to ask, I want to put a question. Uh, before him and Nigerians, who was the deputy chairman that midwived 
his elections? Who was the deputy chairman who voted for him to go to the Senate? He needs to ask, answer that question, but... Who was your deputy at the time you became deputy governor? Shuaibo Idris. He was the one duly elected. The, 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 the INEC has that as uh, a proper report. Not Shuaibu Wada? No, 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 no. no. Who is Shuaibu Wada? I don't know him. He, I mean, from the point of view of rec the records, but I have once seen him, but I, from the point of view of the records, he is an unknown quantity to the leadership of the party in Kaduna State. And I'll tell you why. Um, from the time my committee, uh, which I led, the, 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 the executive council committee of the state, uh, came, became inaugurated sometimes in 2014 till date. The, parties, the party ESCO had been holding her meetings, deliberating, midwiving the, uh, you know, the, the primary elections for the senators, for the members of the state and national assembly, including that of the governor. And we had these meetings, we had successful congresses and so on. And I never saw the man we are talking about, that one I had as I would, we, we never saw him. He was not part of the, all through the years, up till this moment. Uh, in, the, in, in, in the past few weeks, of course, uh, the, uh, the, the team, wanting to form a faction, it came up with, with, with that name and said that that was their factional leader. Meanwhile, Senator Hunkui, only a few weeks back, you know, had been queried by the party, asking why he has become so antagonistic to the political party on whose platform he is in the Senate and also so antagonistic to the government of the APC in Kaduna State. He, he has duly replied to that letter from Shuaibu Idris, showing clearly that he recognizes Shuaibu Idris as the acting chairman who took over from me as the acting chairman after I left to become deputy governor.